Okay, welcome back. This is Mr. Hassan's Mass Channel and I'm answering question number 13 from the specimen paper for the IGCSE Cambridge uh, 0580. This is a specimen paper from 2025, the new syllabus. This is paper one, which is the, sorry, this is paper two, which is the uh, non-calculator paper for the extended syllabus. And here we've got a question about polygons. So it says, find the number of sides of a regular polygon with interior angle 162 degrees okay so in this question we're talking we're talking about polygons now a polygon is a shape which is a flat shape which is enclosed by straight lines and the smallest polygon you can have is a a triangle and then you can have quadrilaterals pentagons hexagons and so on and so forth all right, so we want to find the number of sides of a polygon which has, it's a regular polygon, and each of the interior angles is 162 degrees. All right, so if I make a little sketch here to, to, to clarify the situation, supposing this is like part of the um, polygon, I'm just, you know, just making a sketch of a part of it. All right, so the interior angle is 162 degrees. All the sides of the polygon, no matter how sides it has, um, will be equal in length. Therefore, all the angles will be also be equal in size. Now, if I consider the angle here, which is the exterior angle, okay, the exterior angle, all right, then that's what's going to help me here. There's two different formula I could use for this question. One of them is a formula which will make life difficult, and the other one is a formula that will make life easy. Because if you consider all the exterior angles in a regular polygon, they always add up to this, in any polygon, in fact, they add up to the same, um, the same um, um, number, which is 360 degrees. The sum of all the exterior angles, the sum of the exterior angles, is always 360 degrees whether you have a triangle a quadrilateral a pentagon a hexagon you know no, no matter how many sides the polygon has the sum of the exterior angles is always 360 degrees the sum of interior angles changes depending on the number of sides it has so much easier for us is to use the fact that the sum of the exterior angles is 360 and therefore we can say that the number of sides is going to be 360 degrees divided by the size of each exterior angle. I'm calling the exterior angle, I'm going to call it X here. So 360 divided by the exterior angle is going to give you the number of sides because you know those all added together, all of them added together will give you 360. So if you can add together all of those, the you know, for example, n times x is going to be 360. Okay, the number of number of angles times the size of each angle has to give you 360. So that means the number of sides is 360 over x. Now, what is the size of x? Well, what, what we should also realize is that at every corner of the polygon, the sum of the interior and exterior angle is 180 degrees because I make a straight line. So the exterior angle here is going to be 180 minus 162. Okay, so this is going to be the size of the exterior angle. So 180 minus 162. Now you can do this in your head. You can, I mean, if you, we, we don't have a calculator, of course, because this is a new syllabus. So you could, for example, 162. If you add 8 to 162, you're going to get to 170. And you've got another 10 to go to 180. So that's going to be 18 degrees. Or you can do it traditionally using, you know, the subtraction. You say, okay, you've got to borrow one from here. And 10 minus 2 is 8, 7 minus 6 is 1, and that gives you 0, so 18 degrees. So that's going to be the size of the exterior angle. So 360 divided by 18 degrees, 360 degrees divided by 18 degrees will tell you the number of sides. And 18 goes into 36 two times, so you have 20 sides. So the number of sides is 20. So there's the answer to question 13. Okay, there's an alternative way of doing this, which personally I don't prefer which is you know that the sum of the interior angles is 180 times n minus 2 if you divide that by the number of sides you're going to get 162 and when you solve this equation you will get that same answer so you have 180 n minus 360 equals 162 times n and then you have 180 n minus 162 gives you 18 n equals 360 and then the rest is the same n equals 360 divided by 18 
Okay, both of them are fine, they'll get the same answer. Um, but I think thinking in terms of exterior angles just makes life that much easier. And we're dealing with a regular polygon for all, so all the angles are the same. So there's your answer to question number 13 from this paper. Other questions from this particular paper can be found in the playlist. The link will be linked over here. Other questions from um, the topic of angle geometry angles in polygons, I'll save as a separate um, you know, um, playlist. You can link that over there. That will be for the new papers that we're going to, the 2025 papers from the previous um, specification where calculators were allowed there will be a playlist over here because the concepts are basically the same the only difference is at the end you know sometimes we just use, use a calculator to do the calculations and you can subscribe to the channel by clicking on this link thank you for watching see you soon